Hey guys, we're back on TDC. I'm Tommy G. Today we're talking about looks and performance. Obviously, this chopper has both. This baby's called long and hard for many reasons. It's 10 feet from rubber to rubber. The forks have a 52 degree rake and are 18 inches longer than stock. Old school since there's no rear suspension. But with the fully modern 100 cubic inch RevTech B Twin. These bikes are from Big Daddy's Custom Motorcycles in Porter, Texas. They build one of a kinds to order, with prices ranging from 18 grand to 40,000. But the reason Big Daddy brought these all the way up from Texas wasn't just for show and tell. We're gonna compare synthetic based lubricants versus traditional motor oils by running both through the bike. And we're gonna check temperature differences with a really cool infrared camera. Synthetic oils have been around for years, but just how well do they work compared to regular motor oil? We'll use a thermal imaging camera to record engine temperatures and show us hot spots with and without synthetic. Since everything looks okay, let's get started. This fan will prevent our idling bike from overheating. The color graph on the left side of the screen shows the temperature scale. We've sped it up so you can actually see the engine get hot. Once the oil reaches operating temperature, I'll record the first reading. With the bike cooled down, I'll drain all the conventional motor oil completely out of the engine and out of all the lines. Then put in synthetic. We're using Royal Purple's Max Cycle. It's been tested against other synthetics and showed meaningful gains in horsepower. Now let's see how it compares with regular oil. Remember, this test is being done at idle. If this bike was under a load, you'd see greater temperature differences at higher RPM. With the oil back at operating temperature, I'll grab a freeze so we can analyze the results. Image number one is conventional motor oil. We took measurements at the exhaust port area of the heads and between the cylinders. Averaging the three readings, we came up with 288.66 degrees Fahrenheit. The synthetic registered an average temperature of 277.66 degrees for a difference of 11 degrees less heat. See for yourself, the synthetic registered less heat, which translates to more horsepower. Those are some impressive numbers. Although synthetic costs more, it lasts longer and protects better. 